Hi everyone. I might not be a supermodel, but I am a super nerd when it comes to research. And I do have a couple of degrees from the leading school of fashion, art, and design, Savannah College of Art and Design. So I do know a thing or two on how to pick up on trends. My name is Bailey and I am here with the YouTube channel, The Million Dollar Etsy Shop. But don't leave just yet, as my tips and tricks cover all aspects of e-commerce, fashion, art, jewelry, and business. And I am sure there is some great information here today that you are going to want to hear. Today, I am going over current trends that I am sure you are not going to want to miss out on. So stay tuned to make sure that you are in the know on what is hot. I spent a bit of time picking through not only the spring and summer runway shows, but also Google keywords and Etsy trends to see what people are currently shopping for. These might be self purchases, these might be gifts, and it doesn't really matter that they are typing this information into Etsy or Google because they are shopping for these items on Etsy, then they certainly are also shopping for these items on all the other platforms such as eBay and Amazon too. All right, so let's get started. First things first, Fendi is solving a new age problem with an old school solution. The fanny pack is back y'all with a modern twist. The double bag trend is here to stay and to make sure your iPhone is easily accessible for selfies and that your debit card is protected from pickpockets at the club during perhaps a night out, Fendi has redesigned the fanny pack to create a chic alternative look. If you are a handmade artisan, consider jumping on the following keywords, perhaps leather iPhone case or leather fanny pack. Leather fanny pack has a monthly Google search volume of 10 to 100,000 average searches, which if you're not familiar with Google search volumes is a massive, massive hashtag trending niche. Fanny pack is back. The next trend I'm covering has been popping up on the runway for a few years now and doesn't seem to be going anywhere soon. Statement socks personalized socks, even thigh-high socks. Etsy sellers have already been hopping on the personalized money wagon with the niche custom dog socks. Put your dog's face on a sock. Makes a great Father's Day gift or birthday gift or heck, buy it for yourself. Okay, I know you might not be seeing Sparky's face on a sock on some sort of couture runway, but certainly fashionistas are st still cert... <laughs> Okay, I know we're not seeing Sparky's face on socks on the couture runway, but certainly fashionistas are still wearing beautifully colored and creatively patterned socks as a part of their everyday wear and street style. If you are in the monogram niche or if you knit or are maybe a pattern maker, consider clever designs. Remember, Etsy loves to feature quirky and funny things that are also creatively st stylish on their Instagram and on their main page. Socks are funny and socks could be the key to getting your brand noticed. On to our next trend. Since the dawn of time, even before cave paintings, one fashion staple has risen and fallen more than any other wardrobe accessory the personalized name pendant. <laughs> you've loved it, you've hated it, you've loved it again. Nothing has flip-flopped from tacky to fab over the course of modern fashion history than the personalized pendant. While it's making its dramatic high fashion comeback, it's time for you to jump on this cash money maker. If you've been living and breathing in the jewelry industry even for a second, you know all about these bad boys. And if you've even typed the letter P into the search bar on Etsy, you know personalized is pimpin. <laughs> okay, bad alliteration, you get the point on personalized pendants. Coming in, I had an average monthly search volume of 100,000 to over 1 million average monthly searches. Name necklace is the keyword that is hot, hot, hot. And all of the variations that come with it are also highly sought after. These other keywords are initial necklace, gold name necklace, monogram necklace, engraved necklace, and etc. You get the gist. All right, thank you. Next, moving on. Scarves. Lightweight and versatile silk scarves make the perfect spring and summer accessory. Although the most commonly sought after long tail keyword is Hermes silk scarf, 
Let's get real. Few of us really want to shell out $1,200 to $2,000 for something we are just going to spill our Starbucks all over anyways. And let's let that sink in for a minute. If no one wants to drop four figures on that look, maybe you entrepreneurs should jump on it and give these shoppers that look for less. Make some chic scarves in the three figure or even two figure range, and you've got yourself a healthy handmade niche. Remember, this trend has been popular for over a hundred years, maybe even more. I don't know, I'm not a fashion major. <laughs> On Google, silk scarf is searched upwards of a hundred thousand times a month and makes the most beautiful display at any sort of craft show. Learn it, make it, sell it, grow. And finally, don't laugh, we're all here to make a little coin, but big ass hats are coming in hot, and if you know how to make them, get to grinding. The Kentucky Derby is right around the corner and people are already shopping for Kentucky Derby hats. <laughs> Even top runway designers are preparing for the big event with enormous designs in their couture lineups. Top design houses are boasting both simple bucket hats and encrusted, bedazzled, extravagant styles fit for a royal gathering. Both terms, bucket hat and Kentucky Derby hat, are searched on Google upwards of over 100,000 times each monthly with very little competition in the handmade marketplace, making custom hats an excellent niche to get into if you haven't considered it already. Okay guys, let me know what you thought about my very first trend report. Let me know if you thought this was perhaps useful. I know sometimes high fashion and runway looks can be a little weird and strange, <laughs> but I promise they do trickle down into common trends and things that you can make money on. If you have any questions about these trends or have any suggestions, please let me know. I would be happy to do some style, style reports, style reports <laughs> like this for other niches, perhaps such as home decor or something else like that. Drop me a comment if you have any ideas. I am always listening, even if I don't respond. Thanks again. Please subscribe if you want my next update. Bye.